Hello friends and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 9. One more finger and I run out of hands. I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to start using my toes I think. <laughs> anyway, I'll quickly introduce this video. Today I'm getting organised for the weekend. It is our son's 21st birthday on the weekend and our daughter's 17th birthday. So we don't celebrate the 17th with a party but we do celebrate the 21st with a party. So today it's all about going out and going and doing some grocery shopping. My first stop is at Costco. So I'll introduce some footage of that later on in the video once I've done it. Um, hopefully, I'll also be able to introduce some footage of us decorating the garage where the party's going to be held. Fingers crossed, otherwise it'll be in tomorrow's the video of the 10th, the day after. So, sorry, I'm puffed out. I'm coming down with a cold. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, right? Um, I'm coming down with a cold and so I can feel it coming in my chest and making me really um, short of breath. Anyway, not COVID, nothing like that. That's just obviously I'm run down. But I was so looking forward today to actually getting out of the house and being able to walk. I'm not using crutches anymore. Um, I'm able to walk around as long as I've got a trolley to push and I can lean on that if the knee starts hurting. Um, I'm fine. So I'm excited to be leaving the house and going grocery shopping. I know, right? <laughs> I haven't been anywhere really retail therapy shopping for the last week. I mean, we went away for our anniversary, but I really didn't do much um, at that time. This time, I'm on my own with my daughter. We're going to go to Costco and stop off in a few other places and grab some things for the party. So let me start. <laughs> Enough of a preamble. Day number nine. Right here. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. Day number nine, I'd be in Busy Bobble. Spiral hair ring meets crunch scrunchy. Oh cool, there's two of these in a dark brown black and a beige. These will be really handy now my hair is growing. That's a nice little treat today. Okay, <laughs> let me flip you around and let's walk to the pantry where I'll open some wines and somewhere in between, I'll do some magic editing and insert some footage of whatever I can do today. The plan is to head off to Costco and just show you a quick little haul of whatever we find and also start preparing the garage with some decorations. I'm not gonna go too fancy, he's a boy. So, I mean, really, I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, for my daughter's 21st, we had a balloon arch, um, but for him, I think I'll just have like a, a silver curtain and um, get his 21 uh, balloons, and um, I think that should do. He's asked me for specific foods. He wants uh, pasitsi, and he wants um, arancini, um, and jalapeno poppers. So the arancini and the jalapeno poppers I'll be able to get from Costco. The um, pasitsi, which are a Maltese um, ricotta filled pastry, savory pastry, I'll have to go to a specialist um, uh, Maltese shop to get those. So there's lots of running around, just as well, I really haven't been doing much for the last week or so in my feet, and likely depression's on. I'm not talking about it. Anyway, I'm okay to drive, because I have to use my right legs, so, and I drive in that auto, so I'm good to go. All right, let me take into the pantry, open up some wine, and then through the magic of editing, I'll put it all together. Hopefully, some sort of secrets that will make sense. Today starts the restocking of the fridge and pantry in preparation for the birthday parties, birthday festivities that are starting this weekend. I have my son's 21st and my daughter's 17. So I quickly popped into Costco to do just a little restock. I haven't bought just the everyday groceries that I need in order um, to eat during the week. These are just to tide us over um, for the weekend and um, all the foods that I need. So let me start with the gorgeous, big, huge stocking. We bought these last year as gifts, and I thought I'd just grab one today. These were $32.99. It's the giant stocking, which has loads of chocolates. These were went down quite a treat last year as Christmas gifts. Of course, you can't go to Costco for a party without stocking up on their fresh crinkle cut Himalayan salt potato chips. These are great. I do find them a little bit salty, but I will be serving these with tzatziki that I'll be making later. They have these sweet chili corn chips that I haven't seen before, and I thought these looked yummy. Obviously, when you go to Costco, I've got to get toilet paper. They had pink lady red apples. We pretty much run out of all fruit in the house and run out of milk, so I popped in and got milk. 
We've got the mango nectar. My kids love this. It is a little bit sweet, but I don't buy it all the time that I go, or I don't buy it every time that I go into Costco, but I did buy it today. We were running low on maple syrup, so I stocked up on that. And I found these Unstoppables um, down Downy Unstoppables last time I was there, and I bought the blue ones. They are phenomenal. They're one of my new favorite laundry item. I put just about a tablespoon of it with my washing and my clothes just come out smelling divine. Monterey Jack cheese. I love this cheese. I can compare it to like a, a Colby, um, a cheese, Australian Colby. It's very smooth and um, soft. Obviously eggs, tasty cheese slices. We go through a few of those. Jalapeno flamers. These are delicious. I'm going to be serving them at the party. A Bulgarian sheepskin uh, feta cheese. Delicious. I love this. And my son requested specifically the arancini pack for his party. So I bought two packs of those um, for part of the food that's going to be served. The required milk, we'd run out completely. And my kids don't like the um, long life milk. So I don't hold any in the pantry. So whenever we run out of milk, basically, it's too bad if someone has to go to the shops. Thai green chicken curry. I bought that for dinner tonight. I'll just whip up some white rice or brown rice to go with it for dinner. And pistachio nuts. These are delicious. I saw that they had these s'mores clusters. These look delicious. And yes, my daughter and I had to help ourselves in the car and we snacked on these. These are quite yummy. They're um, chocolate covered biscuits with marshmallows as well really really yummy and then a koala king size cherries i love cherries and i love the fact that we're starting to hit the season for cherries now uh little cherry tomatoes or little mini roma tomatoes huge strawberries costco had these absolutely huge strawberries i think these were 13.99 let me find my receipt <laughs> Uh, $16.99 the strawberries were. Okay. And then I bought the traditional fruitcake. My husband absolutely loves this. And I'm quite partial to it. I'm not a big fan of fruitcake, but I do like the Costco fruitcake. Lychees were also on sale. By the way, we've started drinking aloe vera with lychee um, flavoring. It's absolutely delicious. I'll try and insert a picture of it um, during the editing process so you can see. But they had lychees and I just had to have some. They had a huge sale on these Ferrero Rocher uh, chocolate boxes. These were $19.99 with a $3 coupon discount. So it came down to $16.99. I bought three as gifts, um, backup gifts for Christmas. And I think that's it. I think that's all I bought from Costco. Yep. Yep, that was it. Yep, okay, yeah. let's get started. The recipe that I saw um, said half a cup of vodka to a cup and a half of water. It's the first time that I'm making jello. Vodka jello shots. Vodka jello shots. Oh, you can taste the vodka. <laughs> Tatsiki from scratch.
How about that? Let it sit. It's all ready to go. For tomorrow. Day nine of the wine advent calendar. Yeah. Day nine has the petite moscato frizzante. So, oh, that looks yummy. It's made from muscat rouge and petite grains. Petite moscato is a ball of fun and flavor with perfect balance of bright fruits, soft acidity and spritzy finish. Indulgent refreshment, perfect for dressing up the garden party. Beautiful. Now. Yesterday's wine was the Spritzatillo. I'll have to go and have a look at it. And I had a look at it, and you know how all the bottles have a, um, a recommended standard drinks for it? This one makes sense to me. This, is a, this whole bottle is 1.1 servings, which is fine because, you know, you pour this and you expect to drink it. It's really not that much. Yesterday's wine was 2.1 servings. Now, normally when I get these bottles, I just put it in a glass. And really, if it wasn't such a small glass and I had to use like a standard glass to fill a glass, basically I, <laughs> I fill up the glass. You know, you want to get your value out of a glass of wine when you drink it at home, right? Um, but the wine yesterday, this size bottle was 2.1 standard drinks. I kid you not, when I filled the glass, there was really only that much at the bottom of the wine glass to drink. I really felt like that was inconsiderate <laughs> that they judged it or that they deemed it to be 2.1 servings in that bottle. I mean, had they said it was a 1.1, I would have been, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. Obviously, red wine must be denser or more alcoholic than white wine because this is a 1.1 serving uh, per bottle and that one was 2.1, literally. I shared it with my husband and um, I kind of didn't feel like I got a full glass of wine. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not dying, it just sounds like it. Okay, so uh, tomorrow is my son's birthday party and my daughter's birthday party. She'll be, consolid she'll be consolidated this 21st. I'll try and add some footage um, to the remainder of this video to show you how we're setting up the garage. If not, it will be in tomorrow's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the series and whether you're enjoying it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.